Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is data science on a high level theoretically. The reason is in our upcoming videos, we will be discussing about how this data science works inside Microsoft Fabric. So imagine a situation if you are a owner of a supermarket, you might get a need where you have to take a decision of maybe how much bread you need to have it in the stock every week because accordingly you can meet the customer demand. So how I can decide how much stock I need to be keep in the in, in my warehouse that will fulfill my customer needs. Uh, this, this is actually a critical decision right based upon my decision the business functionality will work the business future will go accordingly. So in such situations, whenever you wanted to predict, maybe this is how the future is going to be and accordingly make your decisions, one has to use the data science. So what is data science? Data science is basically combination of mathematics, statistics and computer engineering. I'm not going very detailed technicalities into it, but I will be giving a high level overview how data science actually works. So data science helps you to identify the complicated patterns from your data and it will try to give you the predictions accordingly based upon a predictions you will take the decisions okay so now um, like how how data science is able to do that so to answer that what is what will happen right there is something called machine learning algorithms so there are some machine learning algorithms that will use some mathematics inside of it some statistics inside of it and using that algorithms, you will train your data. So let's assume this is your data. So on top of this data, you will use some machine learning algorithm, ML machine learning algorithm. That algorithm will go through your data and build artificial intelligence out of it. So that means a intelligence that can understand your data and from there it can answer your questions about the future. So you need to have a data and you will apply a machine learning algorithms on top of it and that whole process will develop a artificial intelligence and that intelligence will start give the predictions to you. Okay, so so this is how the data science actually will work when it comes to machine learning algorithms depending upon the use case we will use a different type of the machine learning models or algorithms. So what are those types? So those types are this. So if you are seeing my screen, we have something called a classification, regression, clustering, forecasting. What it means is depending upon what you want to solve. Accordingly, you have to choose either of these algorithm type or machine learning type. Okay. So there are many other, but these are the most commonly used models or algorithm types. So what is classification means? So imagine you wanted to decide whether a customer may churn that means whether a customer may stop using your services or customer may continue the services you wanted to take that classification then in and you wanted to do that prediction of the classification so in such cases we will use the classification type of ml models another example will be let's assume uh, you have a human data and you wanted to predict whether they are a diabetic or not diabetic based upon their historical uh, health related information. So in these cases, this will come under the classification. Your classifying your prediction is going to classify the data point. So in such scenarios, you will use the classification type of the ML models to train the data. Next, let's assume you wanted to predict some numerical value, maybe price of a product. So you wanted to predict the price of the product. It's a numerical number which you wanted to predict, right? In such cases, you will use regression type of the machine learning models okay so and uh, the diagram kind of shows these graphs the same in a visual fashion okay now clustering what it means is let's assume you wanted to group the data points and then accordingly uh, give some clustering naming to it in such cases if it is confusing let me tell you one example so let's assume uh, you have a I iot sensors let's assume you have IOT sensors and these sensors send data about your machine which is operating and then sometimes the kind of a data sensor is sending based upon data you will predict whether maybe a machine maintenance work is needed now. So sensors will continuously give the data to you. Now 
you will group that data and based upon kind of a data points what you are receiving you wanted to predict whether maybe a maintenance is needed for my machine so in such case of scenarios you will use the clustering type of the machine learning models next thing is forecasting this is based upon time series you wanted to predict something for example next month how the sales are going to be so you wanted to predict the sales for the next month uh, in such cases if you have a sales information you will use a forecasting type of a model and do the machine learning there build the artificial intelligence out of it and do your prediction so as i said to decide which type of machine learning model you have to use you need to basically understand your business problem first based upon a business problem what you want to solve you need to decide either of this ml type of models and train the data accordingly now the next thing is how the typical flow will goes when you wanted to implement this whole end to end data science thing so it will it will have a couple of uh, standard steps all these steps put together is called data science for example define a problem step 1 will be always defining a problem what is your problem define that and then take the data for your problem that means in case of fabric if you imagine you need to take the data for example let's assume i wanted to predict the sales for the next month so i have to take the sales data and i have to load it into the lake house which is part of the fabric so you will take the data from different sources load it into the fabric lake house what is lake house uh, you guys watch my previous videos you will understand that so you will get the data into the lake house first from your sources maybe the sales data then you will prepare the data so what what do you mean by prepare the data once you have the data in a lake house what you will be doing you will be writing some notebooks there because you wanted to perform certain clean up activity there because all the data as it is i cannot use it for the training purpose using ml i need to clean the data in a better way i maybe i need to remove the chunk data which is not needed and prepare only what is needed so i need to clean the data so for that i need to apply the transformations so i will write a notebook there to clean and transform the data so once that preparation of the data is over then you your step is going to come where you will train the model so that means you will decide what model to use first based, based upon a problem statement and you will use that machine learning model to train your data so model or algorithm so you will decide what algorithm and you will train that and when once you train it you will use something called ml flow in a fabric using that you will create a experiment this experiment will create artificial intelligence that intelligence will give you the predictions going forward right so you need to train the model using your algorithms of the machine learning based upon a problem type so once you have that artificial intelligence built you will start asking the questions and get the insights so basically you will get the predictions of the sales or whatever it is right so all that predictions will come okay so these are the typical steps what you follow when you want to build the whole data science thing inside the microsoft fabric so define a problem and then get the data into the lake house and take the data write a notebooks on top of it to clean the data and once you have the cleaned and transformed data use a ml machine learning algorithm on top of it and train the data and build the artificial intelligence model out of it and that intelligence will give the insights accordingly to you okay so as data science if you see the journey most of their time will go in spending preparing the data and training the data that means these two steps so prepare the data that means clean the data and then apply the algorithm on top of it multiple times so most of time will go in these two pointers okay so that is the area where most of the time of the data science engineers will go now how we will take the data i mean once you take the data how you will prepare or that means how you train the data so is there any libraries available there then answer is yes so depending upon what type of a language you are going to use it accordingly you have to choose a library for it for example let's assume you wanted to prepare the data using a python language uh, that means transformations and cleaning and then training so if you use a python language then there are for for cleaning the data that means for transforming the data there is something called pandas and numpy libraries that will help you to apply the transformations and all and uh, once you have the cleaned information then now you want to train the data so for that there is something called scikit scikit-learn pytorch synapse ml these are the libraries which help you to apply the ml models on top of it ml algorithms on top of your data and create artificial intelligence out of it by training the information right so this is what on a high level so if you guys understand correctly so basically uh, there are couple of ml algorithms are there aq creep app uh, something called classification algorithm and something called uh, uh, clustering algorithm right clustering type of a models and regression type of it and forecasting type of them right so these are all the different types of ml models are available or ml algorithms are available depending upon a problem statement we will use them and how we will 
create this whole data science thing firstly you will define the problem and once you have a problem you will try to take that data and load it into the lake house okay and once you have data in lake house then you will prepare the data that means you will basically clean the data using the notebooks and if you use a python language yeah you have pandas and also numpy okay and once you have prepared the data you will train the data again for that in python you have couple of uh, libraries like uh, scikit-learn etc and once you have that it will get a model out of it and using that model you will get the insights right you will basically get the predictions and all so this is the whole flow of the data science how the things will work theoretically these whole steps we will try to practically perform in our upcoming videos uh, to see end to end how the data science thing work in the microsoft fabric thank you for watching have a nice day